So I had this wild idea. For the past year and a half, or ever since I started game development, I've been thinking of creating a survival RPG game, something like Skyrim and Minecraft together. A cool idea, I know. I've tried working on some systems that will need to be in the game a couple times, like leveling system, attribute system, inventory, character creation and so on. But every time I've been stopped by the lack of assets that I had. I didn't just want to get some from the asset store, well, because it's a bitch way of doing it. So I guess I will have to make my own. What's good for me is that I like the low poly stylized art style and those assets are pretty fast to make. So I had an idea to make 101 weapon slash prop slash asset models at once. Let's see how that goes. So I let some Dax and Hobson rap in the background and create a text document and start writing. About 10 minutes or so later, I got depression, but I did also found 101 models that I want to make. Here they are. 10 one-handed swords, 9 two-handed swords, 5 daggers, 5 short spears, 5 long spears, 5 shields, 5 one-handed axes, 5 two-handed axes, 5 one-handed hammers, 2 pickaxes, 2 torches, 10 staffs, 5 wands, 3 bows, 5 arrows, 5 one-handed maces and 5 two-handed maces. Next part is probably the hardest, it's the modeling. I couldn't listen to any more rap for some reason, so I let the most beautiful person in the world sing. Haley Steinfeld. And then I started. First I created the most basic one-handed sword model and just duplicated it 10 times, since I needed 10 swords. And then I customized each one of them a different way, and then named them. That took a while, since I forgot the naming convention. At that point I realized that this would be very very messy if I continued like this and if I continued making all of them in one blend file so I just created a separate blend file for each type of weapon. Next were the two-handed swords, same workflow, just takes a bunch of time. Then the long spears and you guessed it, yeah, the short spears. Nothing special, same workflow, handle, pommel and blade, five of each. Halfway through making spears I thought of something that could make this even better. And faster. Britney Spears. Yeah, no, I'm hilarious. Next were the shields. They were a lot of fun. And I found this photo on Pinterest and it inspired me a lot. For most of these models, I've searched first on Pinterest for kind of types and styles of those weapons and then look for some inspiration. I created a few potion bottles, then the axes, then the pickaxes, torches, hammers, staves. I was really confused. Is it staffs or staves? I still don't know. Then I created the wands, the bows, the bows still aren't finished because the strings have six faces only and I, I'm pretty sure if I wanted to animate them and add a rig I would need much more to bend the string. And then were the arrows, these were quite fun actually. Except the last part, so when I was saving the arrows I accidentally saved them to low poly bows. Which means that my bows were nowhere to find so I had to create them all over again. Once I got to the maces I realized that they were very very similar to the hammers that I already created before. Now I had to think of 10 more assets to make. Only thing I could think of was a bomb, so I created a fire bomb and also a normal generic like kaboom boom bomb. While I was at it, I just created some throwing stars and a throwing knife, or two throwing knives, so I still needed five more. At this point I really really couldn't think of any kind of weapon, so I just created some props, like a small hammer for blacksmithing, since it is an RPG and I do want to add some kind of professions. I had the axe for woodcutting, a knife for skinning, and also two pans for cooking, or rather a pan and a pot. Now finally the modeling was done. And now was probably the hardest decision I had to make in this video. How do I add color to these? I wasn't gonna use any textures, so adding just simple plain materials would be pretty easy. But if I unwrap them now, I could paint them in the future very easily and I would get pretty much the same look. Since I'm a very lazy person, I just took all the models and put them in one file and created just a few materials and assigned them properly. I think it was just like four materials. Doing it all in one file, I was left with just fewer materials and exporting to Unity will be much easier and faster. Also, before putting it all into one file, I merged, them, I merged the proper parts and was left with one object per model. I also had to assign the correct origin points that I want the objects to have, so mostly around the part where the player is going to hold the object. Almost the last thing to do was to apply the mirror modifiers, 
which also took a while. And then finally finishing up with Blender, I centered them all so I can apply the location, rotation and scale since we are exporting to Unity. Then I took them all and ex exported them all as one FBX file, since exporting them separately would take a long long time and I was just going to separate them in Unity. So I created a new project and installed ProGrid so I can just separate them easier. And then I found out about unpacking prefab instance instances? instances. I guess that's the thing now. I haven't really been using the new Unity. After importing them for the first time I realized that the daggers, arrows and uh, some short spears had their faces rendered the opposite way so I had to go back into in Blender and recalculate their faces which wasn't too hard and also one-handed axes, all of them had only one material, I guess I kinda skipped them all, and one of the staffs also had only one material where it should have had two. After doing all the fixing, I had all of them laid out as game object, they did not have any colliders yet, but I'm not sure if I'll add any at all. Now I was just left with creating prefabs, so I just started dragging away, and this took a while. Well that was fun, and that's only 101 prop which I'm pretty sure I'll need much 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 more. I'll probably need as many for armor, as many for buildings, as many for nature, as many for landscapes. I'll probably need around thousand models but this is also a good beginning and in the next episode of this asset creation series I guess, I'm not making anything official but this was quite fun and challenging for me. I was thinking about creating a few different races since every RPG you, you gotta have, you gotta have them. But this was it for this video, if you maybe want one of these on the asset store, I'll, I'll gladly do that if the support was uh, good enough. And you can share this with your friends if you enjoyed this, you can leave a like, subscribe, you can also go follow me on my Patreon and support me on there if you're that kind. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video, bye bye.